Hey everybody, MotoPoet59 here. Talk a little bit about masks. I don't talk a lot about this because I got sick of talking about it before I got sick. But the simple fact is, is that prior to getting sick, in the very beginning of all the whole craziness and lockdowns and shutdowns, I almost refused, almost, I, I just, I wasn't going to wear a mask. I didn't believe that they were effective. People weren't wearing them right. So uh, they were doing, using t-shirts and bandanas and it was it was just in my opinion an exercise in control by the government the state governments of liberal states and i certainly live in one in california but later on towards you know to, prior to me having gotten sick i got to the point where i didn't go to public places very often anyway and i started thinking you know what i'm not going to argue with some kid making minimum wage at Walmart or the AMPM or something, I'll just wear my mask in there and be done with it. I didn't like it, but I decided I'd go ahead and go along. And I still got COVID. And for those of you who know me, and those of you who have seen uh, stuff on my other channel on uh, on Mark Clay McGowan, you know I almost died from COVID. I spent 24 days in the hospital and months recovering. I'm just now getting back to where I really feel. Uh, I'm about 90%. I still can't breathe as well as I used to, but everything else is feeling pretty good. But nevertheless, I almost died from COVID, and uh, I didn't catch it months and months ahead of time. I caught it while I was wearing masks and social distancing. I did the social distancing thing from the get-go. They want us to do that. That's fine with me. I didn't care. Whatever. I'm not going to crowd anybody. I never like people crowding me. But nevertheless, I got sick and almost died from this stuff. And now that the president, the CDC, <laughs> I did a deal a few weeks ago about the miracle of unmasking uh, being a political ploy by Joe Biden. And I believe it is. I, and I believe that it is more proof of what I'm, the point I'm about to make. This was an exercise in government control. Uh, when things started getting sticky for Biden, all of a sudden we don't need masks anymore, even though Fauci and the CDC just a week or so prior had said, yeah, we need to still use them. In my opinion, that was still just an exercise in government control. Uh, I want to ask, uh, you know, bringing this to light, uh, the government control, how many times are we going to have to see these people who are in government? Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi, uh, uh, Governor of Michigan, I can't remember her name right now, it doesn't matter. But there have been many, many instances of this happening all along, since the beginning of the shutdowns and the masks and all that to this very day. And now these people, these governors and other people who are saying, no, uh, we need to wear our masks still. They're not letting their states come back to 100% and all this. How many times are we going to have to see those people caught on video and caught in photographs being in public places and in large groups without their masks. How many times are we going to have to see them in Congress, in the House, shaking hands without their masks, hugging each other, not necessarily hugging in Congress, not necessarily hugging in the House, but you know what I'm talking about. This has been going on since the very beginning. They want us to comply, but they don't have to comply. That is what government officials on both sides have been doing for years, decades, <laughs> centuries. It always comes down to control. They want to, my old boss was a conspiracy theorist and he used to always just say, Mark, it's all about more and more government control. And I used to laugh at him, but you know what? He's right. The government is all about, especially the Democrats, especially the left, are about control. And they're using these masks to control people through fear. That is why you see people driving down the road by themselves in their cars with their windows up with masks on. They're terrified. Uh, they're afraid they're going to get sick. They're afraid they're going to get in trouble. People were harassed by law enforcement in certain places for not wearing masks, even though there was no law that said they had to. But still... People were terrified they're going to get in trouble. They're terrified they're going to get sick. Uh, I didn't wear masks because I was afraid. I wore masks before I got sick because I was tired of arguing with people. But you know what? 
I refuse, steadfastly, absolutely refuse to wear a mask anymore. I will not put one back on. I went into a business yesterday. I was just going to go in there and spend about $100. And uh, I walked in and they said, uh, do you have a mask? And I said, no, I don't. And they said, well, we have some right there. And I said, see you later. And I'll never, ever, ever go back to that place again. They won't miss my money. I've never been there before. I've never spent any money at that place before that I recall. But now they won't get my money. And uh, that's fine. That's fine with them and it's fine with me. I'll go somewhere else. But I won't put one on. I just won't do it. I don't believe in it. And now, as like I said, we keep seeing these leaders who tell us we have to continue to wear masks and continue to keep things closed. We see them out and about without their masks. We see them out and about in groups. They don't want us to do it, but it's okay for them to do it. I'm tired of it, and I am not going to wear a mask ever again in my whole life. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment coming up next week. I'm going to call ahead, and if they want me to wear a mask, I won't go. And that's that. I don't know. How do you feel about all this silliness? How do you feel about all the hypocrisy where masks are concerned? And do you believe they ever really did any good? I don't. Like I said, I wore masks and I almost died. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.